I just still don't understand how this is legal, where a state can rent out their National Guard to a billionaire uh, so that the billionaire can make a show of sending these National Guardsmen down to the border. Here's Dana Bash uh, and um, talking to Asa Hutchinson um, and about Christy Nome sending those troops via a billionaire political donation. It's crazy. Of the Biden administration. I, I want to ask about what your uh, colleague in South Dakota, Christy Nome, is doing. She's raising some eyebrows because a billionaire raising Republican donor is funding her National Guard deployment instead of South Dakota taxpayers. Would you ever use political donation to send your troops to the border? Uh, not for this purpose. Uh, you know, this is a uh, state function. It is uh, something that uh, we respond to other states in terms of disaster. I, I, I would consider it a bad precedent to have that privately funded. Uh, now, uh, you know, whenever you're looking at supplemental pay for some state employees, we use private foundation money. So it's not across the board uh, uh, rule against that. But in this instance, uh, I think it's very appropriate that we have our paid for uh, by uh, the usual state budget. Before I let you go, you. Well, that's Could how I... you know Hutchinson will never win a Republican primary right. on the on the down, on the presidential level. Can I uh, can I raise money to um, rent the National Guard to maybe go in and force uh, schools in uh, South Dakota to teach critical race theory? Can I do that? <laughs> yeah. Only the so. nonpartisan uh, Sam. Uh, rent the National Guard from New York State, send 50 troops into a couple of the schools in South Dakota and force them to teach uh, critical race theories. That's what I want to do. Oh Better yet. God. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we should start a crowdfunding campaign for uh, the uh, anybody who watched that Crowder video, see if they'd be interested in funding the National Guard to to make sure that well, uh, we're taught that we teach everybody. I mean, let's drop the pretense, not critical <laughs> race theory. We want to teach everybody that white people are bad. Inherently, I need to yeah. the, the, the money needs to Hannah go Jones to me be our first, though, because I want to be able to be the general for this National Guardsman. And the way you do that is you pay for it. So I don't want it to be I don't want there to be sort of dispersed. So just to be clear that crowdfunding thing, the money has to go to me and then I turn around and rent it because I don't I'm not sharing power over my private army with other people. Well, like a good, the, you know, authoritarian conservative, I do deflect to you. Thank you. I appreciate the donations from everybody to support this, but I've got to be in charge. What's the oversight on if that even goes to what you're saying, right? I mean, this could be a total Trump border wall scenario. Foundation. Right. Or are. What do you mean? I mean, what I, don't, I, what I really don't understand, though, in reality, though, is, OK, so if this is going through a foundation, that's their 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 loophole. But like, really, I mean, how have we not known about this before? How is it that like two states can't be pitted against each other or three billionaires can't like use one National Guard against another? I, I don't, is this really legal? I, it seems Are we sure about this? Highly unlegal, uh, illegal, but I don't know. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.